Hey there, I'm Zachary Newton, and today I'm just going to tell you a little bit about CSS. So, what is CSS? Well, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it helps describe what the content will look like on the web and paper and other media. You can't have your CSS inside of an HTML file through the style tags, but it's much easier to host them on their own CSS file as an external style sheet. And when you have them as an external style sheet, you can import those styles to any HTML page that you have. So why use CSS? Well, CSS is used to set the design, layout, and style for your web pages at different screen sizes and just different devices. And with that being said, you can also have separate styles for any part of your web page that you're actually going to print off. HTML was never meant to have tags that would format the page, only to describe the content of the page. However, in I believe HTML 3.2, uh, there was some tags added like font to help format the page, and I'll just tell you now, that was not a good time. Putting all your formatting inside of every HTML element was a very long and expensive process. So to fix that, the W3C, which is the World Wide Web Consortium, uh, came up with CSS. So with the invention of CSS, style formatting was removed from HTML pages and placed into external files with the extension .css. The syntax for the CSS rule set consists of two blocks. You have the selector and you have the declarations. The selector points to the HTML element that you want to style and the declaration block consists of one or more declarations separated by semicolons. Each declaration contains a CSS property name and value separated by a colon. So a CSS declaration always ends in a semicolon, and the declaration block is always surrounded by curly braces. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. That covers everything I wanted to tell you today about CSS. However, we'll go over CSS a little more sometime in the future. So if this video has helped you, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you like this channel, go ahead and go to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash Zachary R. Newton, where you can support this channel and help me make better videos every week. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.